O Lord, open our lips, and we will proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence, that we may behold your power and glory. This morning we read from John chapter 10, and we read the first 21 verses. In this passage, Jesus proclaims himself as the shepherd of the sheep. Not a hireling, but a shepherd who genuinely loves the sheep. His own sheep, he said, recognise his voice. There is a slamming of those who rejected him. If they were really the sheep, if they were really the chosen of God, they would have heard the shepherd's voice and followed him. In return, the good shepherd protects the sheep. He forms the gate to protect them, to keep them safely in the sheep pen and to keep out the wolves and those who would attack them. The unfaithful shepherd runs away. But the true shepherd stays and gives his life for his sheep. Here Jesus is, said, is telling us that through his blood, through him giving his life, he saves and protects his sheep and keeps us safe forever. Later he says that he has other sheep, not of the sheepfold. So here he's alluding, I think, to the Gentile believers who will come, those of us who came afterwards. But again he says those who are his sheep will hear his voice. They are predisposed, pre-programmed, pre-trained, predestined to recognise the voice of the shepherd. We as his sheep have recognised his voice. We have heard him calling to us and we have followed him. This is again the um, leading of the sheep, not the whipping of the sheep into place. And we are we re realise in, in Jesus that God came and lived among us and demonstrated the way. This, the, the Christian faith is not like the law which drives the sheep forward, but is like the shepherd who leads the sheep by his example. It is a right thing for Christians to say in every situation, what would Jesus do? He is our model. He is our leader. The shepherd leads his sheep. Our Father, we thank you for the gift of your Son, our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord Jesus, that you came to this earth. We thank you, Holy Spirit, that you helped us to hear the voice of the shepherd, that we might follow him. We pray that in every stage of our life, we will be helped and aided, that we may follow the example of our shepherd. We may follow in his footsteps and be faithful to him. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.